In today's how-to, we will walk through a drive swap of the Brother TC227 CNC Drilling and Tapping Center equipped with a Sanyo Denki spindle motor that can reach up to 10,000 RPM. For this application, we chose the Delta C2000 drive and Delta's EMC PG01U encoder card to provide single to three-phase power and spindle orientation for the CNC. Importantly, the C2000 drive has its own built-in PLC function for field-oriented control, which we will need later. Once the stock drive has been removed and the C2000 installed, we can work on the wiring. We are going to need three-phase power for the permanent magnet spindle motor and we will be wiring the drive using single phase. To do this, we have to double our horsepower of the delta drive to then power the three-phase motor with single phase power. We will wire the RS to the L1 and the SS to the L2 location on the delta drive. You will leave the L3 open. If you plan on running three-phase power, you would then run all three power lines to the L1, L2, and L3. Now we can wire up the Sanyo Denki permanent magnet motor to the drive. Most spindle motors will be similar but will be labeled specific to the manufacturer, so you will need to reference the motor documentation to ID the labels. In this example, we will be wiring the US line from the motor to the UT1 VS to the VT2, and the WS to the WT3 located on the drive. Finally, wire the PE to the green colored ground on the delta drive. We wired the Sanyo Denki encoder and matched the output signals from the old encoder to the delta encoder card. Each encoder will be slightly different, and you will need to reference the encoder documentation for your application to make sure that the parameters are set correctly. Once you double check your parameters to make sure they are correct, install should be complete. Stay tuned to Galco TV for the next part of this series where we will cover the Delta EMC PG01U encoder card install, a basic motor startup for the drive, the programming steps for startup and positioning, an overview of the PLC program, and finally we will show you the spindle orientation for the tool change. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when new videos are posted every week.